All right, today is the 1963 Olympia SM7. We love Olympias. Woohoo! Um, these are fantastic typewriters. You will never regret having one. Their quality is just several steps above other typewriter um, brands. Fantastic machine. You can just feel it as soon as you touch it that it's built um, so much better. So the SM7 comes in three colors. We have the white with the teal is probably the most common that you'll see. They have pink and I think blue is the other one. I don't remember. But let me show you how to use an SM7. So first of all, when you get a typewriter, and so if you get one from us, sometimes you can't figure out why the carriage isn't moving. And that's because there is a carriage lock, especially on the Olympias. This is the carriage lock right here. Up is locked, down is unlocked. So just make sure that um, you've checked the carriage lock to make sure the carriage isn't fastened in there. And so here's your carriage release on either side. If you just press that, you can hear the bell and your carriage looks really good. Okay, so let's continue to look around. On the right side, you'll see a little button. And if you just press that, then that is your paper holder and you can even extend it if you want. Okay, then your margin sets, you just squeeze together and slide and they slide really easy. Your paper guide is gonna be right here. And then in case you didn't know, um, so when you turn the handle, you can hear it click, 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 and that is because it's gonna advance one, two, or three lines. It kinda, it doesn't just, it wants to have, cons your typewriter needs consistency between line spacing, and they do that by having um, you can see these grooves cut into the wheel there. So this side on the left sets either one, two, or three lines for advancing, but every once in a while, you wanna release the roller and make it free in case you need to do a slight adjustment. And to do that, you just press this button right here. And while you're pressing it, just turn the roller and you can hear it's not clicking and that way you can adjust the roller wherever you want, okay? Um, right here is the color selector. That was the um, carriage release. And this, I don't remember what this does, but let's move the carriage to the left. And we're going to open this up now. The whole cover comes off on the Olympia. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now you can see the interior and it does take a universal ribbon. Now there are these spring-loaded arms right here that just kind of hold the ribbon in place. So when it is time to replace it, um, you'll just have to hold the arms back and then pull up. You'll notice that it's threaded through like this double barrel looking thing here and then it goes through the front. This is also your ribbon reversal. So you just press that and press it back. So with typewriters, when you get to the end of the ribbon, some typewriters may auto reverse, but if they don't, always look for um, your ribbon reversal. When you get to the end of the ribbon, reverse it because there's still plenty of ink in it. Now, just a tip, if you are type, typing and your font gets really faint, stop typing and check your ribbon. You don't want to keep typing because you can punch a hole in your ribbon or tear it. That's easily fixable, however, you just don't wanna do it. Um, and some typewriters, the, the whole carriage will just lock up. There's nothing wrong with your typewriter, you just need to reverse the ribbon. Okay, let's go ahead and put this cover on. And if I were to say there was one thing I could choose to change on the Olympia, it's the cover, but it is such a fantastic machine that I am not going to complain. There, it snaps right down in there. Okay, let's do our typing test. So the paper goes right up against that guide. And then, oops, I got it in crooked, but that's okay. We'll fix that, show you how to do that. So you can see how crooked that is and so you just release the tension with this lever on the right 
And now I can adjust my paper and put the tension back on it and let we're ready to go. This does not have a number one as many other typewriters don't. And so you'll use the lowercase l. Now you can reverse the ribbon without taking off the top. You just feel down there and you can feel it and then just press it. Um, I have a feeling that my ribbon needs to be reversed. So I'm gonna put it on the blue there. Whoops. Hold on, I should have set things, but I'm gonna set the margins. And let's try that again. And I got a little bit of ink on there. I'll clean that off. Let's do caps lock, which is this right here. Now the Olympia keyboard is slightly different than others. The letters are all the same, but the symbols, um, some of the symbols are in different places. So just make sure you learn your keyboard. I have to be honest with you, the next typewriter I want is one of these in Olympia. Um, the SM7s are solid typewriters. They have some other ones that have different um, colors in them. But for typing, the Olympia is on my wish list for sure. Okay, let's work on our rub here. When you hear the bell, that means you're at the end of your line. You need to hit the return handle and go back to the beginning. Okay, fantastic. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love this. Um, we'll post pictures on our Etsy shop. Make sure you take a look at it. Let's do up here let's do our um oh so you set in your clear tabs right here and then your tab button is right here so this is a 1963 olympia sam 7 thanks so much for watching sure do appreciate it y'all are fantastic be sure to subscribe to your friends about us follow us on facebook and etsy and uh, head on over to our Etsy shop, see um, what we have in stock, and happy to announce we're updating our website right now, and hopefully we will have a shop on our website in the next week or two, so we're very excited about that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.